concerned over changes to the Fargo school boundaries. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. Middle and high school students in both North and South Fargo could be affected. Valley News Team's Macy Inger talked with one of the concerned parents. Macy, what did she say? Yeah, Mike and Steph, several parents have reached out to me about the school district's plan to balance out school sizes. The mom that I spoke with told me the board isn't listening to her and the changes will create headaches for her family. Dinner. With a dog, a few cats, and two boys. Let's go sit down. Dana Nuwaski has her hands full. Her sons Jacob and Jesse go to Clara Barton and Carl Ben. Dinner. Both will change schools next year under the Fargo School District's plan to move boundaries. They were actually really disturbing. Why is that? When you live six, seven blocks away from the school they're already attending, and now they're going to be bused across town. From their home, school would be about 25 blocks away, National not National six. National. A lot of parents are upset about this, and not just the, the Carl Ben area, but the Discovery as well, because this affects a lot of children on both sides. But the school district says it looked through multiple plans and this is what's on the table. The impact that it would have on uh, enrollments, the impact that it would have on future um, use of our facilities. We are attempting to be as proactive as we can. However, school officials say it's not set in stone. Future meetings with parents could bring change. All of that information will be compiled, will be shared with our board, and it will be part of their conversations as they talk about what are the appropriate next steps. The plan does offer a petition process or open enrollment, but this mother of two isn't convinced. I just don't think it's fair and I don't think the school board's listening to anybody. She believes there's other options out there and hopes this is just the start of the conversation. Now, I'm sure there are a lot of Fargo parents wondering if their kids are impacted. And here's how you can find all that information. Just go to valleynewslive.com. There's a link to it and the proposed boundary changes there. Also, there's a series of forums that are scheduled to address any concerns. Mike? All right, thanks, Macy. And here's a listing of those forums. All will be held between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. at night. Now, the first two are next week, one Wednesday at Clara Barton Gymnasium, the other on Thursday at the Jefferson Elementary Gym. A third will be the following Wednesday, March 18th, at the Centennial Elementary Gymnasium. 